Dr. Diodocus. I'm here with a new MCQ from the Embryology. Uh, let's, let's discuss about this. Ensuring the adequate maternal intake of the specific nutrient is especially important in the reducing the incidence of a congenital anomaly shown in this image. A deficiency of this nutrient which present in an adult is associated with which of the following condition. So they are asking about there is a deficiency of a certain nutrient which leads to certain conditions shows in this image. So if the nutrient is deficient in adult, so what will happen in adult? So this is an embryological defect or an neurological uh, neurogenesis uh, defect in which there is a deficiency of a certain nutrient which leads to this condition so we know one thing that whenever uh, there is a defect into the uh, uh, neural uh, tube formation or the opening or the closure of the anterior and the posterior neuropore then uh, what happened so here they show that this is the vertebral column here is the spinal cord the spinal cord should be here but the spinal cord protrude out of the vertebral column so we can say that this condition is known as spinous bifida and if the spinal cord itself is present outside of the column and is protruded out, so that condition is called as myelomeningocele. So we will go through the conditions that what are the types of the, uh, the spinous bifida. So we have a look of that, that this is what we have the three different types of the spinous bifida. So spinous bifida normally occur when there is a failure of the closure of the posterior neuropore. So if the anterior neuropore fail to form then our brain will not form and that condition is called anencephaly. But in this condition what happened the uh, the posterior neuropore they fail to fuse so the vertebral column they fail to close completely it's give away to the spinal cord it give a way to the meninges it give a way to the spine cerebral spinal fluid to come out from its normal position so that condition is called a spinous bifida so here we can see that there is a failure of the vertebral column closure so it leads to protruding out but is in this condition it is still inside and here we can see the here some here uh, on the back side of the baby just above the uh, defect vertebra and that condition is called as spinous bifida occulta and under the condition in which the meningeal layer also come out the cerebrospinal fluid is also come out so that condition is called meningocele but if the condition is so severe and the gap is so high then that condition the spinal cord itself protrude out as we can see in our cushion the spinal cord is outside the meningeal layer is outside the spinal fluid is also outside so that condition is called as myelomeningocele so here our cushion they are asking about the meningomyocele or myelomeningocele. So normally in the meningomyocele, the neural tube defect occur when the mother suffer from the deficiency of the folate or the vitamin B12 deficiency. So it leads to the defect into the neural tube formation, neural tube development into the baby. So here we have a, again the presentation about that. That is a condition of the neural tube defect uh, that is called as the myelomeningocele. And here we can see the dura meter, the dura meter, the arachnoid uh, meter, and the pia meter. All uh, the meters uh, they come out, okay. And the spinal fluid is also protruded out. So this condition is called as myelomeningocele. And here we can see. So here I have a presentation that this baby is suffering from the posterior neural tube closure defect and here we can see the uh, seal having the spinal cord and meninges and spinal fluid. So they are asking uh, that if this uh, if the deficiency of the vitamin B12 or the folate is occur in adults, so what happened? So we know that the vitamin B12 and the folate, they are very important uh, in the hematopoiosis and the formation of the erythro, uh, erythroblastosis and the RBC production and they mainly help in the maturation of the RBC. Once there is a deficiency of the vitamin B12 or the folate, then there is a less maturation. So once there is a less maturation of the RBC, the RBCs 
the the size of the RBCs become increased or the the size cannot reduce further because uh, once we compare the uh, the uh, uh, normal RBC with that of the mature maturing RBC, so we can see that the matured RBC has a smaller size than that of the immatured RBC. So if uh, there is a deficiency of the vitamin B12, then there is a deficiency or defect in the maturation. So the person suffer from deficiency of the uh, uh, RBCs and the RBCs are larger in size so that condition is called as megaloblastic anemia so the patient also suffer with some sort of uh, uh, neurological uh, symptoms also but here uh, we can see the answer uh, they said about it is the megaloblastic anemia but it also causes uh, the megaloblastic anemia with neurological symptoms but according to their uh, book they said in the book about the megaloblastic anemia so the answer should be megaloblastic anemia so this is something about the today's question